Ever scrolled through Pinterest saving pins but secretly thinking, can I really make a sale from this? Can Pinterest truly boost my income? I've been there too, but what if I told you that your first digital product sale might just be a pin away? Yup, it's possible because it happened to me. Dive in with me as I break down the beginner-friendly steps to making Pinterest not just your inspiration board, but your sales tool. And if you're doubting the dollar signs behind those pretty pins, then stick around. I've got some eye-opening insight you won't want to miss. Ready to pivot from pinning for fun to pinning for profit? Let's do this. Now, when I started Pinterest, 10 years ago. I would have never thought that Pinterest would be so so crucial in building my online business and being like the driving force behind so many sales. I honestly didn't get at all that you could use it as a tool to sell more and frankly I didn't get how in the world Pinterest could make me money. Now fast forward a couple of years and here I am. Like Pinterest is what fuels my sales. Pinterest helps me consistently and without a huge effort get in front of my ideal audience so that I can serve them with my free content and then offer them my paid digital product. And the beautiful thing is it's now happening almost on autopilot. Nowadays, I invest a couple of hours every month and it brings me a huge return. I'm at a place right now where Pinterest brings me new clients to my virtual doorstep every single day. But I remember as it was yesterday when that wasn't the case. So today I want to talk about Pinterest sales how you can get your first digital product sale with the help of Pinterest. And it doesn't matter if you're new to this and you haven't tried this before. This is something you can implement as a beginner step by step so that Pinterest can help you get consistent digital product sales for new coaching clients. You're going to love this video. Now just real quick, before we jump into all the strategies and goodies, I wanted to quickly let you know about my totally free Pinterest masterclass I'm hosting. This is the first time ever that I'm doing this. And in this masterclass, you can learn the three easy steps to triple your traffic and income from Pinterest in just a little over an hour. If you're selling digital products, coaching, or you're an entrepreneur, then this is for you. You'll walk away knowing exactly how to skyrocket the traffic and income for your small online business using the power of Pinterest like without paying for ads in under four hours a month and even if you're a Pinterest newbie just starting out. I'd love to see you there for my totally free one hour masterclass the three easy steps to triple your traffic and income from Pinterest. You can click the link here or in the description box to save your spot and register. It's free and it's gonna be so epic. Spots are limited, so make sure to sign up right away. I really can't wait to see you there. And with that, let's jump back into this video. Now, I want to make sure that we're all on the same page before we start. This video is specifically talking about using Pinterest to make sales for people who sell digital products, like online courses or an ebook. I'm not talking about e-commerce here. So that's the topic of a video for another day. Let me know in the comments if you want to learn more about that. Now for today, I really want to focus on personally what I know best, which is what I do in my business and which I have seen actually work for me, which is digital products and promoting online services like coaching, mentoring, stuff like that. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna share with you my favorite Pinterest to sales path that I have seen work over and over again and the most successful way from my experience of how you can use Pinterest to making more sales. And before that, let's really quickly talk about marketing works the sales. Now I use Pinterest mainly as a marketing tool to grow my traffic. So the clicks to my website or the clicks straight to my product pages where I sell my digital product. There's no way that I know of right now where you can sell directly through Pinterest. So here's the very basic overview of how it works. Now, Pinterest is my traffic engine. So first I create pins. Second, Pinterest shows my pins to my audience. Third, people discover my pins on Pinterest, want to learn more, so they click the pin. Fourth, they land on my website, and if I'm doing a good job with my free content, they buy one of my paid products through my website. So I'm going to dive deeper into this and some strategies later on, but basically 
this is how this works. Pinterest is the tool that attracts a potential customer. My website is where I host the digital product and sell it on. I think this is super important. And here's why I do it this way. While Pinterest is incredible for attracting new customers, it's not a tool where you want to build a more meaningful relationship with a person and where you actually sell your product. Those two things I want to do in an environment where I got full control, which is my website. I don't own Pinterest, I always have to play by their rules. Plus, if someone on Pinterest gets sidetracked by someone else, another account or a different pin, like I have no way of getting back into a conversation with them or contacting them in the future. But I can do that through my website and my email list. So great job on this. I hope this all makes sense so far. Let's move on to the second part, which is the five strategies you can apply today to get your first digital product sales with the help of Pinterest. So are you ready? Then let's do this. Sales strategy number one is to focus on creating free educational content. Like I believe that before you ever pitch your product to someone who visits your website, you want to serve them up with first with a ton of valuable free content. And this is especially true if you're selling someone an online course or your coaching services. When you have incredible, helpful free content, you're building your no like and trust factor. These three things you need to achieve to get someone to say yes to you and buy your product. Your free content does exactly that. Like when I first meet someone, I'm not gonna immediately trust them, like them or know them, right? You first have to build those things like that relationship. And that's a bit harder online because let's say 10 people visit your website at the same time. You cannot talk and chat with them all at once, but you can do that through your content. Your free content can build that know, like, and trust for you. You can show people that you have expertise so they trust you in the first place to hire you as their coach. You can show people through the words you are saying what kind of person you are and what values you have. And you can show up with new helpful content regularly so they start to get to know you. When you achieve those three things, selling your products becomes a lot more easy. On the other hand, more free content like podcast videos and blog posts also means that you have more content to share on Pinterest. Each of those pieces can be the basis for dozens of pins, which means you are growing and reaching more and more people. Awesome job. Free content plus no like and trust out of the way. Let's move on to Pinterest sales strategy number two, micro ask. So let's talk about micro actions and what they are. Like when I sell my digital products to someone in my business, this probably happens only after a couple of weeks, sometimes months into the relationship. Like I don't immediately go to this person and tell them like buy my product. Like I build that relationship and interaction first. Buying something from me is like the ultimate ask. It's a big thing, right? They need to give me their well-earned money. It can feel like a big step. So to make that step feel a little bit less big, I'm trying to engage a lot with my audience on Pinterest, in the comments and off Pinterest on my website and get people to take micro actions. Micro actions can be very small things like giving one of my pins a like, commenting on one of my pins, saving one of my pins, commenting on one of my posts. These great initial asks you can make by adding call to actions to your content and simply asking people to do that for you. So they get into the habit of doing these things. Then you can make some bigger asks, for example, to download one of your freebies in exchange for their email address or to sign up for a free webinar, which will take like an hour of their time. Like giving your email address or their time, that's like one step above just clicking the like button or leaving a comment. Would you agree? And only after making these little asks over and over again and people have gotten used to interacting with you, your content and engaging with you, you go for the big ask. This could be something like, hey, I got this offer. If you're interested, here's where you can sign up for my course or coaching. Make sense? I hope this makes sense. Like, can you see how immediately asking for their credit card feels icky, but after some time and a lot of engagement, it's just like the natural next step. Like if you've been serving them up with amazing value, like they will want to buy that product almost on their own terms. So be strategic about your call to action and start incorporating micro asks or these micro actions. This will make such a difference. Okay, 
Cool. Moving along, you're doing so well. Sales strategy number three is to leverage Pinterest for email list growth. All right, this is the biggie. This is the big one where you'll see some real magic happen. Pinterest is one of the biggest, if not the biggest driver of my new subscribers to my email list. Like my email list basically only consists of people I know from Pinterest. And if you've searched for the best strategies to sell online, you've probably come across email marketing. Like among all the possibilities, if there's one secret ingredient, that's been truly game changing for me in making consistent sales, whether we're talking online courses or digital goodies, and that's my trusty, hardworking email list. So here's the Pinterest to email rundown you need to know about. Step number one. So to kick things off, I whip up something special, like a freebie, maybe a PDF guide or a handy checklist that I can offer as a gift to my audience. Step two. Second, I create pins promoting one of my blog posts that include that freebie. Then in step three, third, inside that blog post itself, I sprinkle in some shout outs and add little snippets of that freebie that leads to an opt-in form. Then step four, when a new person enters their name into the opt-in form, they are added to my email list, plus my email provider automatically sends them an email with the freebie to download. Then step five, now that they're on my list, I send them automated emails I've written to welcome, nurture, and in some time, sell them my products in the most authentic, natural way possible. This process is for sure the number one way I drive sales in my business straight from Pinterest. Now I get it. This feels like a lot if you're hearing this for the first time, but having an email list where you can welcome and nurture your audience with additional free, amazing content is great. But then on top of that, you also get a way of contacting them again and again. And after time, share about your offer or a promotion. That's really where the power lies here. Like social media doesn't let you do that. On a scale where we are talking, selling your digital products, courses, or coaching to thousands of people at the same time, like without spamming them, but through actually building a connection. Like I sent probably about 10 emails before I ever talk about a product of mine. Before that, I focus on bringing value, solving their biggest pain points, getting them started. I'm talking about the biggest fears and objections. Like I really built that relationship. And then eventually I'm going to offer them my product or my help as the ultimate solution or the fast track to getting better results in half the time. The truth is this has been working so well that I've never had to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call to pitch my services right through someone's face. Like if I'm honest, I'm not good at that. Nothing wrong with that, but it's just not me. And if you can relate to that, then boy, oh boy, you'll need to start using Pinterest to build an email list. My friend, this is going to change the game for your online business sales and income. That was a good one, right? But there's more. Like I promised you value in this video, so I'm gonna deliver. Moving on to sales strategy number four, creating a few pins leading directly to your sales page. Now, while leveraging Pinterest for email list growth has for sure been the thing that made the biggest impact when it comes to my online sales, there's something else I like to do on Pinterest that I believe is a really good idea to increase the awareness of your products and services. And that is to create dedicated pins that lead straight to your product. So yup, I believe you should create pins that straight out to the gate promote your product because it may not result in the most sales because there's a lot of like no like and trust missing, but you're still building awareness for your brand, your products and your services. Like if you never mention what you offer, people won't know it. Like you have to go out there and be like, these are my services. These are my prices. These are my products because otherwise people will be fully unaware that you're even selling something. And you know, you never know, maybe your product is just the right thing at the right time. And someone who finds your pin just immediately wants to jump in. And that's one more sale you can add to your list that month. Now, usually I create about 5% of my pins leading straight to my sales page. Now, maybe someone checks it out and doesn't buy. I'm like cool with that. But now they know, hey, if ever they want to do that in the future, if ever they need a little bit more help from me, then they remember, all right, she had that product. Wasn't right for me then, but I should check it out now. Maybe that's exactly what I need 
right now. So here are a couple of pin examples that lead to my templates or one of my online courses. Now I'm going straight to the point, letting people know what it is. Also, I like to add a little graphic, especially for digital product where you don't have something tangible in your hand. You can use these graphics to make it feel more real and more valuable. Now, if you thought this video and the strategies here were powerful, then again, let me invite you to my totally free Pinterest masterclass I'm hosting. This is the first time ever that I'm doing this. And in the masterclass, you'll learn the three easy steps to triple your traffic and income from Pinterest in just a little over an hour. If you're selling digital products, coaching, or you're an entrepreneur, then this is for you. You'll walk away knowing exactly how to skyrocket the traffic and income of your small online business using the power of Pinterest without paying for ads in under four hours a month. And even if you're a Pinterest newbie just starting out, I'd love to see you there. Come join me for this totally free one hour masterclass, the three easy steps to triple your traffic and income from Pinterest. You can click the link here or in the description box to save your spot and register. It's free and it's gonna be so incredible. Spots are limited, so make sure to sign up right away. Now, I really can't wait to see you there. Now, I really hope that this video has been a great introduction to Pinterest sales and how you can make your very first digital product sale from Pinterest too. I know exactly how overwhelming it can be getting an online business off the ground, so don't feel like you have to do everything at once. Like maybe start with one strategy and tip you really connected here and implement that one. Like no one expects you to do all of this right out of the bat. Honestly, like I know it's hard and it takes patience and a lot of work, but I also know that you can do those things and you can do difficult and hard stuff. So let's take one small action today and just keep going. Now that is it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like truly, I'm so grateful that you're here and in this community. I'll see you very, very soon with a brand new video. And with that, I'll talk to you later. Cheers.